Welcome back. The next section of the personal statement webcast is where we actually start the writing portion. Okay, so before we start writing, we're going to actually brainstorm the personal statement. To write the entire personal statement, first of all, we're going to brainstorm. Then you're going to think about some experiences that were significant in your life. You're going to choose one or two favorite responses from a list that you're going to create later on. And then we'll tie in and tie together a theme for your personal statement. Okay, Brainstorming is the first stage of writing, and it's often called pre-writing. The brainstorming process is gathering all of your ideas and getting them on paper without editing them. So this is not where you want to correct your spelling mistakes or try to get the exact date. This is just getting it out on paper. The brainstorming stage does not involve editing, so don't censor your ideas. There'll be enough time to edit later. Write down what you want as you think of it. And just remember, brainstorming is not an idea. It's, it's not a draft or an essay, so it doesn't have to be in any certain order. We just want to get your thoughts even pieces of your thoughts down on paper. We're not going to focus on the structure at this time. I want you to take a look at this tool that we're going to use for brainstorming your personal statement. I'd like for you to take some time now to answer or to address these questions on our brainstorming tool. So take a look at what are my weaknesses and I want you to think of three different weaknesses and write those in. Next, look at what do you care about. Stop and think about what it is you care about. Three things. Is it animals? Is it sports? Is it your family? Take a look at what are your strengths. Okay, and let's list at least three of those. Next, you're going to take a look at what is special about you. And that's okay if you don't have these answers right off the top. This whole process is designed for you to stop and really think about these things about yourself. Okay? What was it like growing up in your city, in your family, in your country? Okay, next take a look at what kind of person am I? If you could describe yourself, how would you describe yourself? I'm a serious person. I'm a curious person. I'm a fun person. Okay, so write down some answers regarding that. And last, I want you to take a look at what it was like going to school where you are. Going to school at your school or going to school in your town or going to school in your neighborhood. Okay, so I want you to pause right now and take about an hour to write out the answers to these questions and then come back. Okay, so now that you've had a chance to go through the brainstorming personal statement tool and write some answers to things that are special about you, we're gonna move on to the next step. The next step is going to involve looking at different um, things about your experience, okay? I want you to take some time now um, and start to develop your theme. Answer these questions. Take out a sheet of paper right now and let's read through them. And then I want you to take at least an hour or two to go through and answer these questions. What's an achievement that made you feel terrific? How about something that you struggled to overcome or change within yourself or your life? Tell us about an event or experience that taught you something special. Um, let's talk about an experience that wasn't so good that you had to get past. How about someone's act of strength or courage that really affected you? Okay, let's talk about a family experience that influenced you in a powerful way. Let's look at a lesson, a class project, an activity, or a job that had an impact on your academic or career goals. And Let's take a look back through your life and look at maybe something that you weren't successful for, with, but you got past it. How about some memorable event, memorable event or advice involving an older person or an event that helps you define yourself in terms of your background? Okay, stop now and write out the answers to these questions and I'll see you in a little while.